everyone, this is Darius from The Shot Caller and I'm standing right next to Steelback in his very new jersey. <laughs> We've already yeah. talked about this just now, you, you usually turn up at the start of the season in the yeah. new jersey. Uh, looks nice on you. I, I like the like the design with the with the stripes and yeah, everything. You do you like it as well? Yeah, I, I actually like it. The new jersey seems pretty good. But I, I like too the name of my back. I'm gonna show it. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It looks good, I think. Oh, uh, wha is it Spanish? And what's the the other country? I actually don't know. <laughs> I ask, but I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, nobody knows. <laughs> it's just some <laughs> random <something>. flag. <laughs> we'll just roll with it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, congrats on the New Jersey. I guess congrats on the new team. You just beat Unicorns of Love. Yes. Uh, very surprising game to some. Uh, Ruin really popped off, and you really popped off as well. I mean, that must feel pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it feels good well to, to have this first win because we had a really good result in screen, but I was scared that since we have two new players uh, that didn't, never played on stage, Targamas and Win, that we would maybe have trouble. But actually, it went pretty good, and I'm happy that we could transfer the level we had in screams to the stage. So And it gave us confidence for the split, and I think it's very important for the rookies to have this confidence to uh, play on the next games on stage. Yeah, and especially getting the the early, like getting the first wins as early as possible yeah. to get that that kind of confidence and yes. you know stage fright and all that mm. kind of stuff out of the way. Now, just as a general thing, right? Uh, we, I've looked at a lot of EU LCS uh, predictions for Spring Split and stuff, and quite frankly, Giants was usually placed at the bottom. Yeah. Um, why do you think that is, and what would you like to respond to to people who did that? And um, you know, uh, do they have a point because you know uh, of the roster or like the worries? Mm, I think um, th people do that because they just base on uh, maybe last split performance of players, and uh, there is also two new players that nobody yeah. knows if they're gonna be good. So I think it's quite fair that uh, we would say that we, I mean, when people see us from the outside that we would be in the bottom tier list. But actually, I'm ha always happy to start like that because you have no pressure on you. And I think we'll prove everyone wrong. So it's just a matter of time, then people will change their opinion about us. Quite frankly, um, uh, a few of your member, including you and your Joko, got released uh, from Vitality. Yes. Uh, Betsy got released from from Rocket. So it seemed like the, the, this group of players that you know got released from their respective teams and then had to to find a way together. It looked a bit yeah. scrambled. But um, was uh, how, how did the the transfer process uh, go for you? Was it like that that Vitality released you and you just looked for other options and yeah. found Giants? Yes. Yeah, so I was looking for the option in ULCS and um, Giants contacted me and. They they were telling me we're gonna most likely have this roster, which was Betsy, Joko, Rin, and Targamas. Mm -hmm. um, I was quite happy because I'm really close friend to Joko and Betsy. Uh, I did two teams uh, with them, and it always I always enjoyed playing with them. And uh, it was a question mark on Targamas, but since he's uh, he can talk French as well, he's very young. I played some duo queue with him, and I was really happy. So I was just uh, let's go for this team. Like I. Yeah, when you feel well in a team, you perform better, and that's what I learned from every team I did. And um, I know that in this team, I can actually play my own way and be happy and, and just win more games. Now, you have been in the ULCS for several years now. You're yeah. actually one of the, the older members of, yeah. the, of the old guard, um, but you keep on uh, performing at times and uh, surprising people as well. Uh, what was surprising to me a bit, um, during your time at Vitality, you had this people thought that you were a very conservative ADC, you know, yeah. holding back, especially during team fights, very safe positioning, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Have you shaken that off in a way? Well, I think um, what happened in Vitality is that um, so many bad things happen. I'm not going to go in details, but yeah. um, with players and everything. So I kind of lost my motivation uh, about like competing in LCS. Yeah. Uh, my level got worse. I, uh, I saw it and uh, I think like every team where I was feeling well and I was feeling happy, I always performed at my maximum level. And uh, that's why I'm happy to be in Giants now because I have this feeling that I had before back then in Unicorns and Rocket in Fnatic. And uh, I think I will be able to perform at my level. And I'm actually quite aggressive in screams, <laughs> uh, but uh, people will see it anyway. Uh, yeah. And I mean, we, we t saw it today to an extent yeah. already. So, I mean, you have been Unicorns of Love, Fnatic, Rocket, uh, now Giants, Vitality. Yeah. You have been literally with half of the teams in the <laughs> yeah. EULCS. Yeah. You have quite a lot of jersey at home. Yeah, yeah. I, have, uh, I can 
do a room and <laughs> full of jersey for full of LCS teams. I mean, that's that's also an interesting development, you know. Yeah. Um, I remember asking you about this last year when you were at Vitality, you know, asking mm. you how do you feel with this team, and of course it's a French org, uh, everyone. Mm. Um, speaks French and uh, you know you had some personal relationships and you said that you felt really at home at that point yes. um, so w was it difficult to you know getting uh, getting replaced by uh, that organ having to find yeah. a new team well um, I was really friend with the people that own Vitality mm -hmm. and since in a French org I was feeling like good in it um, but it didn't work uh, as we couldn't perform so I'm quite sad that I had we had to uh, part away with Vitality But we had to. It wasn't working for me. It wasn't working for them. So I think it was uh, something needed. Even though it's a bit sad, I still um, I'm still friends with people that are in vitality. But we, I think it's better for us to be like uh, in a different way now. So it was like a, a more a po positive divorce rather than yeah. you know the, the bad kinds. Yeah, exactly. So you're still friends and good yes. with everyone. That's that's of course uh, very nice to hear. So all, all the best to to Cabo Char, for example. I would yeah, guess. Yeah, I'm still really friend with Cabo Char, and uh, there is no problem between me and, and him. That's nice. Uh, one thing. Right, I, I recently wrote an article on yeah. uh, Koreans in the EU LCS because there's an interesting trend. At, in Spring Split 2017, yeah. there were 13 Koreans in the EU LCS. Mm -hmm. Now, in Spring Split 2018, there are five. Mm -hmm. uh, and to an extent, we've had this consistent cycle of bottom tier teams picking up Koreans and it not working out because obviously the you know the bottom tier teams are struggling usually anyway. Mm -hmm. And then you know uh, homesickness, communication issues. They, it just adds up to this this big mess in, in a way and I remember talking to you about you know the time with Hachani and GBM and that was difficult as well yeah. uh, but nonetheless Giants mm -hmm. picked up Ruin mm -hmm. who was a, uh, a top liner that he played for a Belgium team I believe mm -hmm. um, so relatively unknown as well yeah. and so to me that was a bit out of a choice um, as well but it seemed to work out really well so far for you guys yeah well I think when um, teams like that uh, go for Koreans it's always a bet you never know if it's gonna work or not so that's why uh, the teams don't know uh, prioritize Korean they'd rather play some tryout in to European player like that but um, actually it's working pretty well with win uh, the bet work well <laughs> uh, I had some experience when the bet went wrong but uh, Uh, Rin is very good, I think. He's a very talented player. He will just show it display, you, you will see. And uh, he, uh, he actually uh, tried to improve a lot his English because at first he always Koreans are having really big points to talk English, but they, he's actually tried in the communication and his play style, so I'm really happy to play with him. Well, that's great to hear then that this time it finally yes. uh, worked out for everyone. Uh, of course, uh, we we want everyone to to have a good time and not feel um, bad. And so, you know, Hachani, yeah. I, I interviewed him as well after he got unbenched, and you know, mm. he was he he told me about how homesick he was, and you yeah. know, I felt sorry for the guy because yeah, I mean, everyone it, was like, yeah, it was a bad situation for everyone yeah. at the end. So and it really wasn't nobody's fault or yeah, anything. Exactly, it was yeah. just very unfortunate and no no one involved wants that to happen. Yeah. You know? um, well, is there anything you would like to say to the French fans, your fans, the Giants fans now as well? Well, thank you everyone for supporting me. It feels always uh, very good to have your message and uh, I will uh, try to prove to everyone that uh, we can be a playoff team. Okay, that's a very nice uh, quote to end the interview on. Thank you very much for your time. Check out his Twitter account, of course, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.